What's up guys, welcome to the episode Today is the last podcast of 2017 And I don't mind the music in the background here in the gym And I just wanted to come with you guys And tell you guys my goals for 2017 Now I'm not really a big person with New Year's resolutions Uh, I'm not hating on them, but it's not a big thing of mine I just always have the same goals, but obviously trying to get better So my main goals are to keep blood sugar under 120 milligrams per deciliter and of course above 72 that range and uh, that's a big goal of mine I want to make sure that I keep those stable blood sugars and then I'm, I have a lot more in terms of mentality attitude uh, one of them is I don't want to be judgmental I want to get better at not being I'm very harsh with other diabetics but I don't say it you know I just see it and I say it to myself and I almost want to sometimes, like it just the urge to say like, and I'll tell you guys like it's it's all stuff like, you're stupid. Why are you complaining about your blood sugar if you're eating so bad? Um, why are you doing this? It's you know just dumb stuff like that. So I had this thing that it, something really hit me the other day, and I had a little blood sugar, and I was like, all right, Ali, you like when people judge about what's going on in your life? Let's say for example, now I'm not against veganism or whatnot, but obviously eating low carbs it's almost like the opposite of being a vegan and I just imagine like someone who's a hardcore vegan saying to me oh at least see this is why you're having low blood sugars because you're not a vegan you're eating low carb or even if vice versa like um, I come up to a vegan and say that's why you have high blood sugars because you eat high carb you know I have my beliefs but I don't say them because you know who am I and I respect what people do and I want to get better at that whether they have the opposite diet ideology or they don't care about their health. I don't want to judge. I want to come from a loving place. That's another one. Another one is uh, I, want to, I don't want to be so harsh on myself. I beat myself up and I'm coming to realize that I can't put things in the past when I do that. I just, you know, like for example, I have a little blood sugar and I go to the kitchen. I eat the whole kitchen. <laughs> I, I, got, I got to move on from that situation because what I do is if I keep beating myself up, I'll binge eat the next day because I feel like I quote unquote failed. But I didn't fail. The only time you fail is when you quit and give up. So that's a big one for me. I, I actually did get better at that. I, I had eaten so much in the kitchen, but I moved on the next day. I just, you know, I injected, went back to sleep, woke up high, but I just forgot about it. I didn't even remember it. And it was only like a week ago, and it feels like a month ago. Um, a big one for me, a lot of you guys know, if you follow my story, watch the vlogs, I binge eat a lot. Not a lot, but once a week. And I haven't in a while. And I'm really proud of myself. I want to get to a place where I have a really great relationship with food. Thus will improve my blood sugar. Because I won't be so attached to the love of food, you know. Don't get me wrong, I love food. you know, But I don't want to live for food. I want to eat to live. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. I want to eat foods that keep me feeling good. Have good blood sugar. And I want to be mentally focused on things that I care about projects I'm committed to like the YouTube channel and and creating good content for people with diabetes so that being said thank you so much for listening catch you guys for the next episode till then happy new year's guys take care